Good afternoon, everyone. Professor D is here. I am, this is actually our second YouTube video for web design. And if you haven't looked at how to update a website template, then you need to go back before you start this class and learn how to update the text in the website template. I show you a place where you can download a website for free and then you can update that website and use that website on any web host or you can just use it to practice or however you see fit. But I do caution you, you need to read the license agreement to make sure that you're following the agreement um, that they give you for using their templates. So some some uh, free templates require you to keep the link in the footer at the bottom. Now, this particular website template that we have, they don't require that. So you can use this website template for free and you can actually um, host it, you know, if you, if you wanted to pay for web space and get a domain name and things like that, you can do that. Or you can get free uh, web hosting, which I'll tell you about as we move forward. So right now, you see that I've changed the wording here and I've changed all the words, all my text. And let's see what happened here. Let me just click out of this and then go do a live preview again. I think I probably clicked on the wrong button. And here we go. So I'm just showing you that I've changed all the wording. Okay, and you see that all the wording has changed. And all the wording is talking about... Um, building a website then you have a blog and then it's telling you about that the website but what i haven't changed any wording in the footing footer okay and um i haven't changed this where it still says jack blogger so let me show you how to change this particular tag so it is the title tag so what you're going to do is look for the title tag. Now you can go find and click on find and type in title. So if I did that, it will take me right here. And so what I'm going to say is, I'm gonna call it exactly what it is. Denise, Denise's School of Design. Okay, so then I'm gonna go file, save all. Let me just make sure I did that correctly. File, save all. And then I'm going to do a live preview again. And you should see in the tab, it says Denise's School of Design. So you want to make sure that you change that as well. All right. So what we're going to do today is we are going to make sure that we change the pictures, the images. So I'm going to show you a how to change the images all right so i'm going to minimize my screen i'm going to open up my folder where i have my images and all of my files for that are for this website i'm going to double click on images and the first image i'm going to change is the slider so you can get your images from royalty-free um, places on the website. So if you just do a search engine uh, and look for, what did I say? Do a search engine. I didn't mean to say that. What I'm saying, if you just search for royalty-free images, then you can use any of those images that you like. Um, I downloaded some images earlier today. So I'm just going to go in there and select those images. So I have um, a laptop 
and you can see what it looks like all right so I'm just gonna right click on it and copy it and then I'm going to take it over to my image folder and paste it all right so here it is so I want to change slider underscore one so I'm going to call this picture which is a laptop with some numbers I'm going to right click on it and click on rename and I'm going to call it the same name slider underscore one all right and do you want to rename yes I do to slider underscore one and it's saying that I already have a slider another slider underscore one so let me take that one out and here is my underscore one now because it has underscore one two and it doesn't look like this name doesn't match that name I have to take that out so let me right click on it go down to rename and take the two out okay because the name has to be exactly the same all right so if I right click on the original slider and go down to properties I see that this is a PNG all right so if I right click on my new image and I go down to properties I see that this is a JPEG what that is telling me is that I have to open up my HTML editor and I have to look for slider underscore one I have to actually look for that and then once I find it here it is slider underscore one you see where it says PNG my um, new picture is a JPG so I have to type in JPG and for the other one I have to take out PNG you can see the PNG and I'm going to put JPG all right so the names has to be the same I'm going to do file save all and I'm going to click on the lightning bolt and you see my image has changed all right so let's do this one more time so you're going to change this particular picture so i'm going to click out of that i'm going to minimize my screen and this is the blog one picture so let me let me just take this away so block one is what I want. So I have to find a picture. So I'm going to find a picture and I'm just going to do this one. And it's called, I'm renaming here, blog one, no spaces, right? And I'm clicking out. I'm going to copy it. I'll right click on it and copy. I'm going to Go to my image folder. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to paste. And here's my blog one. And here's my original blog one that came with the template. I'm going to right click on the original blog one. I'm going down to properties because I need to see if it's a PNG or a JPEG. So it's a PNG. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to right click on the one, the image that I want to. I am replacing I am replacing this blog one with this blog one so I'm right clicking on it because I need to see if this is a PNG it's a JPEG all right so what I'm going to do if there are differences in the type of images it is a uh, image it is one's a PNG the other one is a JPG so if it's a JPG I'm gonna open up my editor I'm going to go to find and click on find again I'm going to type in blog one and here it is you see it's a PNG so I want to take out the letters PNG which means it has no background so it blend in very well this is a JPG okay and I'm clicking out and I'm going to file 
save all. I'm going to my live preview. That's my first image that I put in. And then this is my second image, okay? Now, what I'm going to say is you have to make sure that all your images are matching. Like this is a computer and then this is the ocean. So you want to make sure that everything is matching on your website. So if I'm talking about computers, I don't want to have a picture of an ocean. I want to make sure that I have a picture that's talking about uh, the best HTML editors. So I will change this, but this was for demonstration purposes only. So what I want you to do now is I want you to change all of the pictures in this template just by doing exactly what we did. So you're going to change the logo. You can create your own logo or you can find a logo that you like that's royalty free and go ahead and change that. So again, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your image folder. See, it says images and here's the logo. This is the one that you're going to change. So you have to either create your own or or uh, use a royalty free image so all of these images the original images that are in here like um block two c1 c2 change those images block one do not mess or do anything with the banner don't mess with this um, do not change your footer yet. We'll do that when we come back to class. Don't change the head or the load or the location or the phone or the search or you can change this marketing one. Um, leave the mats and flags there and leave this there. Okay, so you're changing this image, the logo, the blog underscore one, the blog one, of course, we did that already. Block two, C1, C2. Uh, footer um, blog, we, you'll do that when we come back. And that's, that's it. Now, let me go back to my HTML editor. You wanna make sure that you have already changed all the words on about so all the text on about should be changed and then you're going to match the pictures to those words okay and then you're going to change marketing you may not want um, a marketing page you may want to call it something different and you can do that i'll show you how to change the header on the next lesson but right now you can change this image if you, you know, please change it because I want you to get practice in changing it. And then make sure all the text is, um, is changed. I'm sorry. Yes, here we go. Make sure all the text is changed. And then on the blog, make sure all the text is changed and the image. So you want to make sure this is changed and then make sure you change the image. All right. And that's all you have to do. It's home about marketing and blog and make sure you change the logo. So your website should be almost finished by just changing the text of your home and the images, the about and all the images, marketing and all the images, blog and all the images. And I'll show you how to change the navigation system in the next lesson. All right, everyone, have a great day and I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.